Why Sony Xperia XA1 Plus Review The Xperia XA1 Plus bridges other gaps too, though. For one, it's got a fingerprint reader on the side, just like on the higher-end XZ series, while the XA1 and the Ultra sacrificed that for minimal side bezels. And just because the screen diagonal of the Plus is the mean of the other two, it doesn't imply the battery capacity is there or about two. Oh no, the XA1 Plus boasts a plus-sized battery. The 3430 mAh capacity of the Plus is 27% more than what the 6-inch Ultra has. Couple that with the efficient 16nm Helio P20 chipset, and you're in for some excellent endurance numbers. The Plus Inspiria XA1 Plus may as well stand for extra battery. The phone packs substantially more juice than the larger Ultra. With its 3430 muz, the Plus is better equipped than most current 5.5-inch devices in its segment which gravitate around the 3000 ma mark. There is, of course, the notable exception of the Redmi Note 4 and its 4100 ma power pack. A predictable showing by the Xperia XA1 Plus overall, the smartphone falls in line with previously tested Xperias with the same chipset, and also proved moves to non-believers that Mediatek can indeed make a proper mid-range sock. The Snapdragon 625 is slightly more powerful in multi-core CPU usage, but the XA1 Plus's P20 is superior in single-core applications and has a minor edge in graphics. If you want the ultimate performance in this class, the Exynos 7880 is the way to go, but the Plus and its P20 appear unfazed by the Exynos 7870 devices. The Sony Xperia XA1 Plus audio output is excellently clean when used with an active external amplifier, but only average in loudness. Clarity degradation caused by headphones consists of a smallish hot